the time for Don Bosco vibes on Radio Maria, Yasani yes, Voice. So as we all know, like some two weeks ago, we've introduced to say this is the month of uh, Don Bosco. So I believe and know that some of us are following Don Bosco and to some of us, Don Bosco is our patron saint and uh, we, we know what we've learned from him and uh, we know to say uh, that John Don Bosco was a youth at heart and he loved the young people. So today in the studios we have um, the young people in the studios and uh, young at heart as well. Dear listeners, we continue reflecting on Don Bosco and uh, Salesian spirituality. On today's show we are hosting Salesian cooperatives well, we are in the Don Bosco month and we continue to reflect on um, Don Bosco and uh, Salesian spirituality. We are approaching the feast of John Don Bosco very fast in the van. We are bringing closer to you Salesian family and their spirituality and their mission to the youth. Today we want to find out who are Salesian cooperatives. Uh, Salesian cooperatives. In simple terms, it's the third order of the civil. Our activities mainly involve in, uh, involved in the education and evangelization of the young as teachers, as catechists, as youth animators. This was founded by our founder, Don Bosco. Let me talk about the, the spirituality of uh, the Salesian cooperators. So in many ways, it is shared with the SDB and the FMS and the whole Salesian family. Salesian family are described as contemplatives in action, working in the world with joy and hope, nourished by the word of God and the sacraments of the church. Don Bosco's motto is, give me souls and take the rest. This is common and this is what brings uh, all of us cooperators or the Salesian family together. Although we might not use the same language today, our mission remains the same as always bringing the saving love of Christ to those we meet through our gentle presence, just actions, and loving kindness. You know, there's a, a powerful saying of Don Bosco, and I quote, it is not enough to love young people, they must know that they are loved. Uh, this, this inspires us, uh, the whole Salesian family, to work and pray not just for young people, but with them valuing and empowering them to grow into good Christians and honest citizens. That's a very catchy uh, phrase there. Uh, empowering them to grow into good Christians and honest citizens. St. Mary Mazzarello told her girls that every stitch is an act of love for God. We are people of action as um, Salvation family, recognizing the universal call to holiness and understanding that God is with us always at home, at work, at rest, and in church. Mm -hmm. Great. So that is uh, so inspiring. Sarah, from uh, what was already said, it seems like Salvation cooperators are involved in youth apostolate, just as Salesians or Salesian sisters are. What is your experience of working with the young people or for the young people? Okay, so um, basically I've been involved in the youth ministry from a very tender age, I must say. Yeah, I think uh, I'm one of the people who would say I, I used to find comfort being at church. I think the many programs that I've been involved with, apart from uh, what I've mentioned, I've also uh, been, I am actually a youth animator under the Archdiocese of Lusaka. I facilitate the Life Matters programs and then I've also been involved in the Yes uh, programs as well, facilitating those. And um, originally I'm not from uh, a Don Bosco or a Salesian parish, yes, but uh, having interactions like inter parish uh, interactions, I came to know of this parish and that's where I got the interest to learn more about Don Bosco and also get involved in the works uh, that is to bring the young people closer to God. So uh, apart from that, um, I've been coming here to Baoleni where we have uh, different programs lined up for the youths. We have um, 
a football pitch and a football team which is named after Don Bosco, which is the Don Bosco Soccer Academy. We also have uh, our oratory, which has um, a karate team, and then there's also um, a library there at the oratory. Then there's also a basketball team and a notebook team. Though some of these things need uh, revamping, we need more youths to come, we need them to to utilize these things because what we want is uh, to keep uh, bad vices in the compounds where we come from. So if people uh, can utilize these things that we have for them, I think it would be better. So we're trying as uh, Salesians to work with the community as well, just to bring the young people closer so that they can as well enjoy what we are, we are doing here and what we are offering. Thank you. From what Sarah has said, I wish there were more people passionate about saving the young. Uh, let us go back to our provincial coordinator, Dorothy. I'm sure some of us would like to know what does it take to join Salesian family as um, a cooperator, Dorothy. The Salesian cooperator embraces a gospel way of life, sharing in the church's mission to bring Christ to society, especially the young. Like any, any vocation, there's some preparation which is required uh, before making the commitment as a cooperator. There's formation, which takes two years. This is to help one discern and appreciate what is entailed. The basic need is to know who Don Bosco is, how he operated, and his mission in our today's life. So how has been your experience joining um, the Ceresian Cooperators? How has it helped you? My experience has been fantastic so far. I have no regrets whatsoever. And then um, in my journey as, uh, as a young person, so as a Ceresian Cooperator, I feel really um, I've been helped a lot not only to shape uh, my behavior but also even just my way of life because at the end of the day what I do reflects back to who I am as a Salesian cooperator. If I'm here to win, so like I said, we need to preach before we speak. Yeah, like, so if I'm here to, to win souls, how is, uh, how is my behavior out there? How do I portray myself? Uh, because I need to bring more uh, young people closer to God. I think, um, you know, as cooperators, we are not just uh, confined to the parishes where there are Salesians. Yes, we reach out even to the parishes that are not run by Salesians. So at the end of the day, as a cooperator, you need to be outgoing because our goal is to bring and win more souls to Jesus. Don Bosco inspires me a lot. Uh, is a priest, a friend, and a person who introduced good measures for the young people, uh, loving kindness, uh, not to judge the youth, but to be able to live with them, love them. And I think as a cooperator, it really inspires me to work with the young people uh, throughout my life uh, and to imitate from this great teacher uh, of, of the young. I think as a cooperator, we need to learn that Don Bosco uh, formed uh, this uh, institution of cooperators before even the, the SDBs, you know, the, themselves. He had to live you know, with the cooperators because he had to collaborate with the people that he worked with and these are the cooperators. I think from the family of cooperators, uh, we see that uh, it is one of the family, uh, first families that he formed when he was, he was still there. It came first before the Salesian congregation itself. I think it is a great mission that we get inspired by this great man who works with the young people. I think I'm really inspired with him. As we talk and interact with, with the young, you know, it's not just about you do this, you do that and that, you know, but I think we are also bringing the gospel to them as we are talking to them, as we are counseling them. You know, it, it, it has made me aware you know, of the presence of, of, of the young and what they really mean in our, in our society. It inspires me in the way that um, I'm getting to understand, it in a way, um, like you journey with them, for you to understand and uh, 
help them in, in, in their development. So Don Bosco did really inspire me and I think now I'm really finding it very interesting and I think the passion to work with the, with the children, has, with the young, has really grown, yes. Uh, I think the Salesians are very important because they portray a, a reason why a young people should come to the church through the sacraments, you know, through the word of God and to share a living presence with them as we are aware that the presence of a Salesian is very, very important to the young people because presence means there is someone there to take hold of them, take care of them and just show them that there is someone who takes care of these young people each and every day of their lives. I think through the oratory, you know, they, they share this experience of, of God, you know, as, as Francis has said, a playground is a school, it's a learning place, and a place to meet God. So I think that's why the, the Salesians are very, very important in this uh, uh, presence, as well as Salesian cooperators who help collaborate with them to journey through this life of uh, the, the young people. Salesian cooperators, thank you so much for the words of uh, wisdom that you've shared, the life of uh, Don Bosco and the amazing words that you have shared with our dear listeners. Thank you so much. So remember that next week again we'll, be, we'll have the young people talking about um, Don Bosco. So we still continue reflecting on um, the life of Don Bosco. So we encourage you to stick around and that you join us again next week, same place, same time. My name's uh, Victoria Chalofia. So until we meet again, keep it Jesus.